What's up, YouTube? My name is Kability. I'm going to give you guys a little crash course in flying helicopters. And the reason I'm making this video is because lately I've been seeing a lot of people flying helicopters and just dive bombing into the ground for no reason. So I figured I'd show you guys where you can go to learn and teach yourself how to fly and just kind of practice a little bit. And it's also a really great way to just test out all the stuff in the game. And that is the test range. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know, but there's actually a, pretty much every single vehicle type in Battlefield in this little small area and you can drive them all it's actually really nice so let's right now I'm gonna be testing out the Zuni rockets while I'm doing this just to see like what damage they do because I heard they got a buff so it's a really great place where you can go to test out just like how much damage a certain weapon does or how the bullet time like how the bullet velocity is just get some hands-on time with it so I highly recommend coming in here and testing out a new sniper rifle or something or just getting used to flying but uh, here's the three main helicopters. Uh, we're going to start with the Scout Heli. Uh, Scout helicopters all have the same symbol, and that was it right there. This is the attack helicopter, and there is its symbol right there. And last but not least, we have the transport heli, and there is its symbol right there. So uh, we're going to start off by flying the attack helicopter. But first, I'm going to show you guys this nice little trick. When you go into your options and you scroll down to heli buttons, you want to flip that to veteran and what that does is it makes your triggers that it would use to aim and shoot it makes those your throttle up and throttle down and I highly recommend you do this just because it makes flying a lot easier than using the left stick for your throttle up and throttle down like the default is so please put it on veteran it really is a helpful thing the only thing it really changes is it moves your firing button and your flares your flares are now down on the d-pad and your firing thing your firing button is your left bumper which is what you would use to throw grenades. So, not much different. But for all those who have never flown helicopters before, it's very simple. Right trigger, if you switched it, is to make the helicopter go up. And left trigger is to make it go down. Now, if you want to keep it on the fall, it's just a left stick down or towards you is making the helicopter go down, pushing, pushing the left stick forward makes you go up. And how you move the helicopter is very simple. You just tilt it and add some throttle up. Or if you're going backwards, you throttle down. Now the attack helicopter is meant to kill vehicles. Like you were seeing me shoot at the boats and stuff here. Uh, you start off with the hydro rockets, which are very good at killing vehicles. Uh, pretty much this thing is meant to kill vehicles. But you can also throw on the heat seekers to take out planes too. It's really good at killing vehicles. But we're going to move on to the scout helicopter. Scout helicopter is the fastest and most agile out of the three helicopters, but it's not very good at killing vehicles, though it is possible at killing some light armor, it takes a lot. You're, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to mainly focus on infantry and like small vehicles such as like jet skis or quad bikes, just focus on those. If you really want to take out vehicles with this, you can throw on the laser guided bike, prefer to have on the heat seekers just in case you get into a battle with another helicopter because these are also really good at killing other helicopters so just keep that in mind uh, I like to keep heat seekers on just in case you get into that one-on-one -on -one with another scout helicopter it just gives you a good advantage so just keep that in mind this is definitely not a vehicle killer it is a infantry and anti-air helicopter so keep that in mind and we're going to move on to the last helicopter, the transport heli. This is the slowest of the three. Uh, I never said anything about the attack helicopter. The attack helicopter is in the middle. It's not the fastest. It's not the most agile, but it's it holds its own. It's average. But as you see here, I'm in a side-mounted minigun. And the reason for that is transport helicopters do not have weapons for the pilot. You have to have guys in the gunner seats on the sides. So just keep that in mind. This is for carrying troops from one point to the other and anyone in on your team can spawn in on this helicopter and drop out of it so it's basically a mobile spawn point so just keep that in mind if you're going to be flying a transport heli just have a friend in the gunner seat so that way you have some form of defense against helicopters or whatnot because just flying by yourself you have a really good chance of getting shot down or if you are engaged by another helicopter you are going to get shot down. And the thing about the maneuverability right there, if you tilt a helicopter too far down, I call this the point of no return, it will make you fly forward very quickly. So just keep an eye out for that. Don't tilt it too, um, don't tilt it 
until that rotor is facing the side. Just don't tilt it too much, or else you are going to take a nice plummet downward. So, with that said, shut up, computer. Uh, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys take the time to come to the test range and learn to fly, because it's really kind of sad to see people that don't know how to fly at all slam into the ground and explode. So, please take my advice, come into the test range and learn how to fly, so you do not end up like this. My name is Capability, and I will see you guys later.